Hello Aquarius, welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What are their intentions for the near future or their intentions towards you, towards this connection? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in, spirits, angels, guides, for Aquarius in love. Spirit, what does Aquarius need to know regarding the person they are in connection with or thinking about at this time? What's going on between Aquarius and their person spirit? What's going on between Aquarius and their person? Okay, we have the moon and the six of wands. Uh, Pisces energy with the moon. Um, I feel like there's doubt over how something appears. Like maybe there's an illusion here in terms of something being actually successful. I'm also getting uh, confusion or doubt regarding whether, excuse me, something will be successful here. Let's see. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. Five of Wands. Tell me about the moon. The star, there you are Aquarius, showing up to your own reading. Hmm. Okay, tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Knight of Swords, why is the Six of Wands here? Aquarius, feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. Or better for you um the emperor aries energy okay so what i'm seeing here is i'm seeing that maybe there is a disconnect between you and your person maybe there's been some drama or conflict here that is surrounding your connection um, or happened in your connection here and i feel like there is this hope i guess for healing for renewal for fixing the problem or attempting to attempting to find a solution. Um, this could also be someone that is having internal conflict about a person or a connection. Um, like someone is not sure what to do. And I say someone because this is both of your energies here, Aquarius. So this could be your person feeling that way or you feeling this way. You know, flip it, how it resonates. I feel like there's some sort of um, masculine energy here that wants to communicate or there's some sort of um, communication that needs to take place here. I have the Empress at the bottom of the deck and the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like this is someone that's thinking about their, their counterpart, talking to their counterpart. So let's see, what's this Knight of Swords about? But I feel like the main energy here is almost like uh, this uncertainty about the success of a connection or the success of like the resolution of a problem right can i get one more for the knight of swords i think that's like the main energy here between you why is the knight of swords here yeah the ace of pentacles this is someone that wants to make an offer of some sort maybe give you something um talk about a commitment here Why is the star here? Why is the star here? The chariot, cancer energy. Look at all this major arcana. Yeah, it's like someone's wondering about the future of something. I like I'm picking up with the chariot. It is a card about being on the path to success or being on some making some sort of move towards success. But I'm almost picturing someone thinking about the future here like picturing the future will this be fixed in the future will there be communication in the future will we have um a connection in the future this is what i'm picking up can i get one more for the moon before i move on here Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel like, okay, so with the moon here, 
and the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card about someone that's guarded, not very open to new opportunities, and they're focused on these three cups here that have already that are already in front of them. They're focused on this, so they don't see anything new coming in. Um, there's disinterest in what's going on in their life, or there's almost like a checked out kind of energy. But what I'm getting here is someone is so focused on this that it's like they can't move on. You know, they're so focused on what's going on between their connection or in their connection that they can't really focus on anything else. And it's because there's no clarity about something. You know, and I feel like the clarity is about the future. What does the future hold for our connection is like what I'm feeling here. Um, even though there's desire for success, there's desire to communicate, there's desire to um, have a commitment, but I'm almost picking up that this is what someone's hoping for or planning. It's not something that's happening. This is what someone hopes will happen. And this could be you hoping that this person will come towards you, or this could be your person planning to come towards you. We'll, we'll see when I look at your energies. This is what I'm getting so far. So let's see. Let's see what's going on between you. So I'm going to have your energy on one side, Aquarius, your person's energy on the other. Feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. Let's angels, guides. Tell me about Aquarius and their person. Tell me about the energy that Aquarius and their person are bringing to this connection. Tell me about Aquarius. What is the energy that Aquarius is bringing to this connection? What's the energy that Aquarius is bringing to this connection? Happy ending. Tell me about Aquarius's person, the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? Sudden realization. Okay. Let's keep going here. Tell me more. Sorry. Tell me more about Aquarius's energy here. What is Aquarius thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? You are the only person for me. So I feel like this person, Aquarius, is someone that you feel you should be with or that you are meant to be with. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is thinking about. What are their thoughts or feelings when it comes to Aquarius? I regret not taking action sooner. Hmm, I regret not taking action sooner. Okay. So maybe this this um, communication, the, the energy that was in the previous spread with the Emperor and the Knight of Swords, maybe this person's wondering if maybe it's a little late, if they should have done that before. We'll see. Let's see what we have the Kipper deck. Can you tell me more about Aquarius and their person? Their person. Tell me about Aquarius. Occupation. So you could be um, distracting yourself here, Aquarius. Maybe you are working hard, focused on yourself, focused on your business, your job. Um, I feel this is a distraction or a way to keep yourself busy. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. Tell me about the person. You got wealthy man. So it's kind of like the king of pentacles at this in this deck. And then the unexpected income card is like the ace of pentacles. I always think about it. So um, this could be your person, this um, emperor energy. Maybe they're well off, maybe they have a good job, um, maybe there's somebody who has a lot to offer in the, in the sense of uh, stability. Okay, one more and then we'll move on to the tarot. Can I get some more energies please for Aquarius? Tell me more about Aquarius. Tell me more about Aquarius. 
the shark. Okay. Tell me more about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. So the shark is an energy about having to address something. Having to address. It's like the elephant in the room. It's something that can't be ignored. It needs to be addressed. We have the dolphin and the camel. Hmm. Well, the camel is very resourceful. They are natural survivors. You know, there's no difficulty that they can't overcome. Um, I feel like this person is thinking that this is going to be difficult in some way. Um, now, this sudden realization energy, this is someone that's having clarity, truth, and epiphany, a sudden awakening, a sudden realization, right? So this is something that has kind of hit your person or someone um, your person is just now realizing, right? I feel like they have clarity about what they need to do here. Um, the dolphin energy is a very um, healing type of energy. This is um, a karmic energy because a dolphin, once you meet them, they change your life forever. Um, your person could have been with a karmic partner or in a karmic situation, um, or perhaps they are focused on um, healing this difficult situation. We will see when we look at the tarot. And I feel like, once again, this is somebody that, you know, maybe they're well off. I really hope that this person doesn't have other commitments, like in terms of like another partner or a family situation, because I feel like that um, would really complicate things. <laughs> um, so we'll see. Now, as far as this happy ending card, I feel like this is what you are envisioning for your future. This is what you hope for for your future here. Um, However, I feel like you, despite the fact of you trying to kind of move on with your life or I, I guess, you know, try to work on yourself here or work on your business, despite all of this, I feel like you always come back to this same energy because it's, it's, it hasn't been addressed. So there's no closure, I feel. Can we move these over a little bit more? So let's get some insight into both of your energies here, how you're thinking or feeling about each other. Can you get some insight, please, for Aquarius regarding this person, regarding this connection spirit? Now, remember, Aquarius, like I said, you can flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Aquarius. What is Aquarius thinking or feeling when it comes to this person, this connection? What is Aquarius thinking or feeling? Wow, I got all three here. Okay, so Six of Swords, Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Page of Cups. You're hoping for communication from this person. The Devil energy behind that, that's Capricorn energy. I feel like you, you, you're you hoping for either an apology or some sort of move that this person makes. Why the Six of Swords though? Why is the Six of Swords here? I feel like also I just heard I just want to get started or let's get started. Um, I feel like you just want at least to try. To try to begin. To try to see where this goes. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Three of Wands. Two of Cups. Yeah, it's almost like you're waiting for this person to come towards you. Waiting for, the, for this connection to kind of start or begin or go somewhere. Um, tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Page of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Definitely. You need clarity from this person. I think maybe deep down you feel like this is your person this is your partner your divine counterpart like your soulmate your twin flame someone that you feel a very strong connection with maybe the timing hasn't been right maybe things just haven't worked out and you're hoping for you know a lucky break or a new an opportunity a change ace of swords yeah i feel like you 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 need to have clarity you need to talk about something openly and honest honestly with this person but i don't think that you want to stop at communication because i have the page of pentacles here i have the four of wands here yeah this is definitely like what are we going to do what's the future hold with the four of wands 
you want clarity about the future, I feel. You want to just talk. I feel like you've been waiting for this. Tell me about this page of pentacles. Why is the page of pentacles here? Yeah, the, the higher font. You want this to end up in a commitment, Taurus energy. You want this to be something solid, something long-term, something that leads to stability. This is very important for you, I feel, Aquarius. Um, I feel like a lot of you have something to offer this person and you know it. At the very least, you know it. And I think it's because, you know, it's almost like deep down you wonder why this hasn't happened yet because it's so perfect. It's so, you know, it's it's almost like it's been, it's meant to happen. And so maybe there's confusion as to why it hasn't happened yet, you know? Why hasn't this worked out? Why hasn't this really taken off? You know, I feel like that's where the doubt, the confusion comes in. And since there's no clarity about the situation or communication between you and this person about the future specifically, I feel like you wonder almost like, well, how is this ever going to work without that? Spirit, tell me about the person that Aquarius is thinking about or dealing with. What are their energies here? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Aquarius? for this connection. We're also going to look at your person's intentions and next actions here. Queen of Swords, tell me more about this person. The Magician, yeah, this is somebody that I'm really thinking about the Emperor here. And there's Judgment, that sudden realization energy. I'm thinking about the, the Judgment card here. I mean, the Emperor card uh, from the beginning spread. Queen of Swords, the Magician, Judgment. These are very um, interesting energies, especially together. I feel like the Judgment card with the Queen of Swords here, or you know, if you were to pair the Judgment card with the Queen of Swords, this is someone that has serious clarity about the past, about what they want for their future, about moving forward, you know, because after Judgment comes the world. So I feel like this is someone that has serious clarity about this or wants to communicate about what they've realized, right? If you put the judgment card over here with the magician, this is someone that wants to make something happen here um, with the realization that they've come to terms with. Whatever they've realized, they want to do something about it. So let's see. Let's start with the magician, because I feel like that is the, the doer, the action taker. Tell me about the magician. What is the magician doing here, spirit? What's the magician doing here for Aquarius? Yep, Ace of Pentacles. Very, very um, to the point. That's the Emperor energy. This is the Emperor energy for sure. Tell me about Judgment. Maybe this realization is them regretting not taking action sooner or realizing they should have taken action in the past. Let's see. Tell me about Judgment. Five of Wands. Tell me about Judgment. There was something that happened between you with this five of wands. It came out in the beginning of the of the reading as well. Tell me about judgment. The hangman. Yeah, someone didn't do something about this. Whatever conflict there was, I feel like someone just kind of like either they're looking at it with a new with with a new perspective, whatever this problem is, or they didn't do something about it when they should have done something about it. Now with the hangman here, I'm getting like serious, like this is someone having a serious enlightenment here. Um, because the hangman, they see things in a different in a different perspective and it helps them gain clarity on the situation, on what's happening, what's going on. Um, so I feel like this is someone that's having serious clarity here. And I think it's about this problem. I have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Wands. Look at this energy, Page of Cups right after that. So it's almost like, um, I think despite the problem, someone seeing what this was or realizing what they had here with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. This is new beginning in love. Maybe they realized that if they were just apologize, come forward, express their, their feelings, there would be a new beginning here. You know, I see that as well. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Way too many. Tell me about the Queen of Swords, please, Spirit. Why is the Queen of Swords here? 
Where's the Queen of Swords here? The Empress. Wow. Yeah, so this is you. You're the Queen of Swords here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. The world. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's so perfect. Uh, judgment to the world. Um, this is all about having a new beginning with you, starting a new cycle with you. I'm also getting that there's something needed to be finalized. I'm not sure if this is you or your person that needed to finalize a cycle in your own life. Seven of Wands. Yeah, maybe there were some challenges, resistance here. Maybe you'll resist this person, Aquarius. Let me know. If this person were to come forward and tell you something or talk about an apology here, would you be open to it? Or would you be like this Queen of Swords? Because the Queen of Swords is not very approachable. King of Cups. Yeah, this person, I mean, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I mean, there's love here. There's love here. Um, and I feel like this is you, and then also this is you, Five of Cups, Ten of Cups, almost like there's regrets. Something that you're missing in your life. Maybe you're missing this person. Maybe you made a mistake and you feel like it cost you this Ten of Cups. Or it could be that this person's feeling um, that way. Maybe you're both feeling that way. So what is this person's um, intentions, next actions? Let's see. Spirit, what is this person's next actions or intentions towards Aquarius? What is this person's actions or intentions towards Aquarius or this connection? What is this person's actions or intentions? We have the hangman, okay? What is this person's actions, intentions towards Aquarius? Seven of Swords. Oh, no. Eight of Swords. I'm taking that as well. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting is, all right, Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Wands. So this person knows they have to make a move. Maybe they're waiting for the right time to make a move. I feel like right now this person is not uh, taking actual action. And I, it's because I feel they're trying to think about the strategic way of going about this. Um, I feel maybe, you know, I really hope that they're not trying to be sneaky here, you know, and when I think of someone being sneaky, it's because they don't want to be seen by someone else. So I really hope that's not the case, you know. I feel that there's a lot of thinking this person's doing with the hangman and the eight of swords. This is someone that's like overthinking, you know, and they're thinking so much that they're not doing anything. <laughs> so I really hope that they, they actually take some sort of action here. I do have the Six of Swords with the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, it's, I'm actually a bit surprised that communication, a card about communication did not come up here. And I think it's because of this Wheel of Fortune. Maybe there's something here with timing or opportunity. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The sun, the emperor. Okay, so yeah, this is the this is your person's energy. I feel like they um, they've gotten clarity, but it took some time, and I think that's why they're regretting not taking action sooner. Because maybe now it's a little bit more difficult than it would have been before. Ten of Wands here, the chariot right behind that, Cancer energy. I think they're still going to move forward. Why the Seven of Swords? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The devil, yeah. So there might be something that they're trying to um, detach from or deal with that's like a personal issue or a personal situation. Um, tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Two of Wands. They need to choose. So this person needs to choose one or the other here, I feel, with the Two of Wands and the devil. Bottom of the deck, I have the Fool, the Six of pentacles and the um, ace of swords yeah they need to choose to be completely free to take this risk <clears throat> to communicate with the ace of swords to be honest um i feel like there's fear here though why the eight of swords probably because this is a risk for them i'm not sure why but there's definitely fear here with the eight of swords and fear leads to with this card paralysis Tell me about Eight of Swords. 
this is someone, okay, AS three of cups. Okay, so this might be like a third party situation or this person is really fearful about coming towards you. Death, Scorpio energy, page of cups. Um, there's the Empress. Yeah, this is this is about talking to you, approaching you, expressing something to you. This could be an apology. Um, I really hope there's not a third party situation. Let me know if that's the case in the comments. It didn't come up a lot in this reading, but now when it comes time to, for your person to take action, it's coming up. So that's why I'm like, hmm, maybe that's why there's issues or, or drama now. Death. So something needs to end. Maybe this person needs to choose what they want for their future. 